This is Jal Kumar Sen and in this video tutorial we are going to learn about comparison between solid shaft and uh, hollow shaft of course. So what is shaft probably you know it can be a loads and all that so we are studying about strength of material right so here in this video comparison will be done okay and probably you are thinking why I am repeating because I wanted to make this topic in your mind only in your brain only that's why you will not even mistakenly uh, forget so let's go for the topic so first of all what is solid shaft the shaft is completely solid means like this there would not be any hollow like nothing like that and what is hollow shaft if the shaft is having two diameters okay internal diameter and external diameter this is only having D and most of the time we have seen this right now if you are if you're thinking like this that comparison what type of comparison basically I am going to do here basically this is a topic of you know if you will uh, if you can uh, understand or if you are very good in a strength of material then I am sure you are getting what type of comparison I am going to do here basically this is a topic of torsion so torsion equation will be used to compare hollow shaft and solid shaft really simple and if you know what is torsion and uh, then definitely you can understand about it so uh, let me ask you what is torsion can you tell me yeah definitely you can tell me even if any you can tell me i cannot listen to you but let me tell you torsion what is torsion basically the you know there is a relation between uh, this and that's this is happening because of torque this is happening because of torque and it's all about torsion right suppose that this is a fixed beam and this is it uh, you know this is a yeah this is a bar and one side is fixed and then this is known then what type of beam is this like this is a uh, you know that cantilever beam right so if torque is acting like this then there definitely some twisting movement will happen just like like this twisting when happen and that twisting when because of that twisting when happen and uh, that is known as torsion basically it is having a equation and based on that equation we are going to do something here with this comparison right so what is that equation let me share with you that equation is here t by j is equal to tau by r is equal to g theta by l if you are not aware about all these terms I am using here, don't worry. I am going to I am going to tell you each and everything in this video only. So T means torque and its unit in Newton meter. J means polar polar moment of inertia. J means polar moment of inertia. Tau means shear stress. R means radius of this shaft G means modulus of rigidity theta means angle of twist I as I have already shared with you this is all or this is all because and uh, this is all happening because of twisting movement twisting right L is length length of the shaft you can say because we are studying about torsion so this is all terms and hope right now you can understand about all terms now what exactly we are going to do here we're going to use this two this first part two only two values only because here what exactly we'll do we'll just compare with this one this what is this j j means polar moment of inertia so polar moment of inertia for hollow shaft and for solid shaft both the for both the shaft it is having different formula because you know shaft is hollow so definitely moment of inertia will be hollow I mean it will be not hollow will be different and for solid definitely moment of inertia will be different so both are having different moment of inertia and because of that we can compare the torque or shear stress it is up to you how you, how you how you wanted to compare right so uh, are you ready my dear I think so you are ready so let's go for it so T by J is equal to tau by R suppose that suppose that the radius of both the shaft and shear stress of both the shaft are same 
if I am assuming sharp 1 sharp 2 both having tau 1 is equal to tau 2 is equal to tau and r1 is equal to r2 is equal to r but both the sharp it's, it seems to be a little bit different but what i am assuming here just concentrate here only what i am assuming don't see here okay so the torque is same and radius of the both the sharp is same okay now what we have different we have to find out i mean we want to compare torque one torque one means torque for sharp one sharp 2 1 and torque 2 means torque for sharp 2 we wanted to compare torque 1 by torque 2 and find out ratio of torque 1 by torque 2 so what we can do here because both are same both are same so we can get you know t is equal to tau j by r t1 and t2 is equal to what we can get so this one this one so j2 and r2 right so what we can do as i have already shared with you i am going to find out ratio of t1 by t2 okay so t1 by t2 is equal to tau 1 j1 r1 by tau 2 j2 r2 we need to find out but as just before this i have shared with you tau 1 is equal to tau 2 is equal to tau so this one this one will be get cancelled and this one this one will be get cancelled now what we remain j1 by j2 so what we got here t1 by t2 is equal to j1 by j2 now we need to find out polar moment of inertia for this circular bar uh, these two bars are circular so we have to find out polar moment of inertia now if you if you don't remember i don't know you know what is polar moment of inertia or not even what is moment of inertia for circular cross section i don't know you know or not but let me share with you what is basically moment of inertia so moment of inertia in short we write moi Moment of inertia for circular cross section is pi by 64 d to the power 4. But here we are talking about polar moment of inertia. So its formula is pi by 32 d to the power 4. Now this formula is only for solid shaft. Remember that. Because this formula is valid for only solid sharp. So we can use only for solid sharp. So we are having one solid sharp that is d. So let's say this one is you know d1 and d2 and d1 okay small that's okay no problem and of course this d1 is equal to d2 is equal to d because I am I'm taking what radius of both the shaft are same so it could be written like this only so what I am talking about this is for solid shaft now what would, the, what would be the formula for finding out polar moment of inertia for the hollow shaft that is interesting right so a simple event don't need to get panic it's simple so polar moment of inertia it would be pi by 32 d to the power 4 minus d to the power 4 okay now we got polar moment of inertia for hollow shaft hollow one we got polar moment of inertia for solid shaft now what we have to do we are having equation this t1 by t2 is equal to j1 by j2 right so let's write <coughs> t1 by t2 is equal to pi by 32 into d to the power 4 by pi by 32 into d to the power 4 minus small d to the power 4 this is in, uh, internal uh, diameter and this one is external diameter of the hollow shaft so this one this one will get cancelled now what we got here t1 by t2 is equal to d to the power 4 d4 and this so what we got the result here that ratio of both torque for both the shaft if the shaft having same radius same shear stress then we got the ratio is here simple isn't that just just what you need to remember yeah after if someone will see this at a time what will happen what is this we are not i am not getting anything but if you are starting if you watch the video from your starting you can understand what exactly going on in this video taught well all right so i hope you got what i wanted to make you 
understand from this video dot well i hope you understand okay so thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye there is some mistake actually i haven't shared i've just i have seen this okay so actually what happened t1 we have considered this as a, this as a hollow shaft and t2 as solid shaft so if we'll do this t1 by t2 so this should be upper side this should be in the lower side so just consider this as t2 and this one t1 i mean just consider t1 as solid shaft and t2 as hollow shaft then the equation would be right okay so i hope you can correct this that's why i'm adding this part of this video to uh, in this part okay i hope you understand this thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye